gravitational force. Let us see an example. M1 is a mass, M2 is an another mass. They are separated by a distance of R. M1 is attracted by M2 by a force F. M2 is attracted by another force F by M1. They are equal and opposite in direction. Newton's law of gravitation states that a particle of mass m1 attracts any other particle of mass m2 in the universe with an attractive force. This force f is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Mathematically, f is directly proportional to m1 times m2. Then, the same force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two masses f inversely proportional to r square f proportional to m1 m2 upon r square is a mathematical relation let us define the definition based on this mathematical formula according to this law every particle in the universe attracts every other particle with the force directly proportional to the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Here, this proportionality equation, we make it as a complete equation by writing F equals G times M1 M2 upon R square. The value of G equals 6.67 multiply 10 power minus 11 Newton meter square kilogram power minus 2. The dimensional formula of G equals m power minus 1, l power 3, t power minus 2. Let us remember these values. Important features of gravitational force. 1. Gravitational force is always attractive in nature. Unlike electric force, magnetic force, they have both attractive and repulsive depending upon the nature of the charges and poles. But here, the mass is always attracts another mass and independent of the medium between the particles. The gravitational force never depends upon the intervening medium between the masses. But electrical forces and magnetic forces depends on the intervening medium. The intervening medium affects the electric force and the magnetic force. Here, M1 is attracted by M2 with the force F12, whereas M2 is attracted by M1 with the force F21. The gravitational force between two particles always constitute an action-reaction pair. F12 action means F21 is reaction. These two forces are always available. One force never available. Here we have an another mass M3. The gravitational forces between two particles is independent of the presence or absence of the other particles. The F12 or F21, they are not affected by the presence or absence of M3. The total force on M1 may be affected, not may be affected, they are affected because of the presence of M3. The total or net force on M2 is affected because of the presence of M3. But F12 is not affected by M3 or F21 is not affected by M3. The net force on a given 
mass f1 equals f12 plus f13 plus f14 plus etc this is the sum of the individual forces acting on the mass by other particle the gravitational force is a conservative force the work done by the conservative force does not depend upon the path followed the formula for gravitational force is valid for point masses the point mass means uh, 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 the masses should be compared to the surrounding volumes the earth is a point mass when compared to the volume of the solar system thank you